Today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about what to do with the information you receive from a tarot reading. If you're accustomed to getting readings, you probably already know this, but if you're new to readings, this is important information to have. First of all, you need to know that the person doing the reading doesn't know everything that's going on in your life. They can give you some insights into how to handle things, but it's also very important for you to pass those insights through your own integrity and your own filters and your own preferences. If you get information in a reading that feels to you like it's off, it has nothing to do with you, two things could be happening. One could be that it truly is an inaccurate reading. And another one could be that it's something that will be playing out in months to come, whether the reader knows it at the time or not. And you can just take the information under advisement and let it be. You don't have to do anything with it. One of the things that's very important if you're going to make tarot reading something that's useful in your life is that you reflect on how the information pertains to you as an individual. Regardless of whether you're talking about a work situation or a relationship or anything else going on in your life, tarot cards give very deep insights into our own internal processes. And when your internal process matches what you're trying to do on the outside, that's when life really flows. So anytime that you do a reading or have a reading done for you, make sure that in addition to whatever the questions are that you're asking, you're giving yourself permission to also understand how this applies to the way that you move through life. And if you feel during a reading that you haven't got enough information, ask the reader to give you more clarity. We can always do that for you.